what is this? How old is this meatloaf? <sighs> what the hell? This is hardly enough food for one meal. Is this what they live off of? What a pain. At this rate, I might have to skip the formalities and... Uh, <clears throat> shit. Uh... Hi. Hello, human. You probably have some questions. Yes, I made myself a sandwich. Yes, with your meat and bread and plant things. Is that really the first thing you want to ask me? I just... I mean, it, it feels like there are probably more pressing matters. Can't you just go get more? Is this garbage supposed to sustain you? You should really... It, well, uh, yeah. So what? I'm hungry. I wasn't just going to not eat. Uh, you know what? I'm not even sure I want your soul at this rate. Any soul whose owner doesn't even have any sense of self-preservation probably wouldn't taste that great. Haha. <laughs> there we go. I was wondering when that denial would hit. The... Oh, this must be a dream thing is pretty common, honestly. I may not look like it, but trust me, doll. All of this it is very, very real. Oh, oh, you're approaching me. Brave. A little dumb, but brave. Here, I'll flex for you. And you can touch th this. Hey, are you gonna squeeze my arm or what? What are you? Hey, don't touch my tail. What the hells? Are you out of your damn mind? Don't go around touching tails with strangers. Holy shit. If I had anywhere else to be, I'd bounce. You're really going in on the, uh, this is a dream thing, huh? Fine. Let's say it's a dream, little human. Let's say there isn't a big, horned son of a bitch here in your kitchen ready to consume your eternal soul. Ready to pluck your most delicate strings and watch you come undone as I make you mine. What would you do? You... You really needed to know if my molten bits were hot or not. That was... That was your first priority? <sighs> Are you trying to piss me off? Yeah, let's make the big red demon mad. What's he gonna do? Tear me apart? You're not clever, little human. Not only are you a fool... You have horns big enough to match my own. Uh-huh. I know your type. Huh. Not so cheeky now, are you? And what if this isn't a dream? Hmm. Well, it can mean a few things. It can mean that I've come here to eat your food take a nap, and maybe just go on my way. It could mean that I'd ravage you, make you howl at the moon like a rabid animal, and go on my way. Or, if I like you, if you're good for me, maybe I'll stick around. Maybe I'll offer you a deal. We don't need to get into the finer details right now, but basically, you don't need your soul. And neither do I. 
but I've got nowhere to be. And you've got a pretty huge case of nihilism. So you might as well have a catch like me hanging around and holding on to that soul for you. Right? Someone to... Take care of it. Nurture it. And then... Well... <laughs> oh? Oh, the, the howling thing piqued your interest? What? No, what What the hell is a furry? What are you even talking about? No, it, it was a reference to... Uh, oh, oh, this is funny to you. You're having a laugh. I see. You really, really are trying to piss me off, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm no mere incubus. <laughs> Don't degrade me like that. I'm much, much more than some runt looking for a wet hole to crawl into for a night. I'm greater than that. Oh. Sure, that's right. Go ahead, insult my ego while you're standing there in your night clothes. You must have a lot of friends. <sighs> this is a disaster. What? Of course I've done this before. Are you kidding? This is <laughs> hardly the first time I've dealt with a human. I'm just hungry. I don't like your line of questioning. My name? No, 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 no. It's not going to be that easy. I tell you what. Come tomorrow, when you realize this is no dream, maybe I'll tell you my name. That is... If you don't have a complete and utter meltdown, your mind snapping at the sheer thought that a glorious being such as myself chose to reveal himself to a mere mortal and even eat their food. It's enough to send even the most buttoned up humans melting into sheer madness. Don't shrug at me. Are you all right? Seen a lot of shit, huh? Interesting. Well. <sighs> Even though you're a pain in the ass, I remain optimistic about our future endeavors, little human. About time. You humans sleep forever. Did you know that? I almost came up there and woke you up myself. <laughs> of course I'm still here. Did you think I, a mighty and powerful demon, would be so easy to give up? No, of course not. It's a matter of pride now. I will have your soul, or here I will remain. <laughs> you will give in to me eventually, I assure you. I can be extremely persuasive. Frankly, you should be honored to have such a high-ranking person in your home. Anyone else would be. I'm a bit of a big deal back home, you see. Perhaps you've heard of me. Surely tales of my vibrant skin and large horns have reached 
your little human ears. They... they haven't. Are you not honored, then? <laughs> well, with time, you will learn. All of you humans will. <clears throat> Breakfast. I've told you I'm going to persuade you to give me your soul, and you offer me breakfast. You don't look the least bit scared. Is there... is there something wrong with you? Is there something wrong with me? Why aren't you afraid? People are generally terrified of me. This is... this is most unusual. <sighs> yeah, yeah, fine, all right, breakfast. Since you refuse to show me the proper respect, the least you can do is feed me. Being up here for so long is making me hungry. Uh, 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 uh. Do you have more bread? I could go for a sandwich, or even a flatbread. Do you keep truffles around? Or mussels, or, oh, I'd love some filet, or a beef wellington, and some wine, too. Obviously, there has to be wine. What? You don't drink wine in the morning? What do you do for breakfast, then? Eggs? Come on, you can't be serious. Oh my god, you eat eggs? Of course not. Down below we don't eat eggs. Eggs are simple and easy. Well, 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 of course that's bad. We don't even get hungry. We eat for the pleasure of it. <laughs> we do everything for pleasure. Why would we eat plain old eggs when we could have literally anything else? Cheese? That doesn't make it fancy. Eggs don't even rank in the bottommost tier of food I would even consider eating. Let alone toast. Why on earth would you eat toast when puff pastry exists? Or French croissants. At least tell me you use good bread. <sighs> you are very lucky. Your soul is enticing. Otherwise, I would smite you where you stand for such righteous, reverent beliefs. There is nothing wrong with gluttony. Oh, you want to prove me wrong? All right, if you think you can. I look forward to it. I hope you have something better in mind than eggs, at the very least. You don't? Well, then how do you intend to prove me wrong with those? Watch you. All right, if you insist. I've never had any qualms about watching humans dig their own graves. <sighs> this, this is how you make eggs? Huh, <laughs> interesting. You know, that metal could be used for something more useful. Like a sword. Then you might be able to kill something to eat. Rather than steal its eggs. Well, of course I've never cooked before. Why would I have? People scramble to serve me. If I had to make my own food, it would be a very... Cold day in hell. 
<laughs> ah, well, I suppose if you were to force me, yes, it would be that day. The four horsemen would rise, and we would all be forced to watch the world burn. Why is it that you want that to happen? <laughs> well, I shouldn't have expected any less from you. You'd fit right in with my siblings down below. Well, hey, I'm, no, I, I don't mean it like that. To tell the truth, you're nothing like them. You might be sarcastic, but you're not literally a demon. Besides that, I have nowhere else to go. So if I'm stuck here, you have to stay here with me too. I have to learn to cook if I'm staying? Why? <sighs> All right, then, if you insist. But you have to teach me how to make something other than eggs over easy. Oh, my name? Oh, no. You know better than to ask a denizen of the underworld his name, don't you? I can't tell you that. Oh, don't look so outraged. Rules are rules. Names are powerful, and I'm not sharing mine. <sighs> uh, seriously? All right. All right, no need to blackmail me. How about this? Once I can make a perfect French omelet, then I'll tell you. You'll have to spend a lot of time teaching me, buying me ingredients, housing me. Plus, it's poetic, is it not? It's still your eggs, but it's a way better, more fitting solution for someone like me. Once I can make that the perfect dish to represent your human sensibilities, and my refined tastes, then I'll tell you. Deal? <laughs> yes, someone like me. Now, human, we have a deal. Commence your teaching. I promise to make you regret your curiosity. <sighs> Where did they go? I'm bored. Why is the surface so dull? If I was back home, there'd be at least a hundred maidens I could have to entertain me. All they did was go upstairs with a shopping bag. How long could it take to put a few things away? Oh. <laughs> could it be? Naughty human. <laughs> mm. Well. <laughs> well. Maybe I should go up there and join them. Perhaps we could get to know- What? Fucking devils! Who's touching me? What the hell is that? You! You're not upstairs anymore. I thought you were otherwise engaged. I was about to head up there and join you, but you're down here. Touching me? Wait, how are you touching me? Don't do that. Those parts of me are literally on fire. What, uh, yes, I'm serious. It's all molten and shit. It's real. It's not fake. Don't you feel the heat? Come on, back away. I don't want you getting burned. I... Uh, I... Well, of course I don't want you to hurt yourself. I want your soul. 
and to get it, your body needs to remain intact. Plus, you can't teach me more about cooking if you're in the hospital with a bunch of burns. What the heaven is an of glove? That doesn't make sense. You went and bought an as seen on TV oven mitt with a stupid name so you can try and touch a demon. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. You have some balls, you know that? By the fucking circles. Bless it. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Stop touching me there. You'll hurt yourself. Do you not see the literal fire you're touching? You will be burned. <sighs> your of glove can't hold out forever. Take your hand off. J Hang on for just a second. <sighs> Look, I'm not a pet. But if you want to touch me so badly, I can turn it off. Yeah, the, the fiery, molten, brimstone shit. Yes, I can turn it off. Well, I didn't tell you because you rudely ignored my advances. There was no point. But since you came to me, then... Here. My arm... Sands the flame. You don't need the... Of glove. I'm warm to you. That makes sense. Fa People always said our veins were filled with fire. <laughs> well, yeah, it's warm there too. I imagine you think I'll be warm everywhere. Ah. <laughs> oh. One day, one day you'll flirt with me too. And yes, I said our veins. I have brothers, sisters, cousins. You should be honored to be touching me like this. I am royalty. Don't make that face. Why would I lie to you? I'm a prince. Not the firstborn, so I'm not nearly so high and mighty as my... Older brothers. But I am incredibly important. Your human brain can't even comprehend how important I am. People grovel before me. Hey. Wait, wait what are you doing? You didn't have to stop. I... Uh, no. No, I don't mean that you're unworthy or... What, what I mean... Is... Oh. Oh, I see. You don't think you're unworthy. You just think I'm a jerk. Right. Well, you didn't have to stop just to call me that. I was just telling you that I'm royalty. What? No, it's not a lie. Why would I lie about that? Believe what you will. Think whatever you want to think about me. But I'm not a liar. I have no need for lying. I'm, uh, well, never mind who and what I am. Look, the point is you can touch me as much as you'd like. I know I'm different from you humans, and it's natural to try and explore the unknown. <clears throat> well, yes, really, I don't mind. It feels strange, but it's not bad. Usually, the only people close enough to touch me are also on fire. Literally. I've never done something like this. Never even thought about it. The flames only get turned off if you're at a fancy party or something, and the host has some kind of light show planned. Oh, yeah. Light shows. There's something. We don't do them often. There are so few places down there with the darkness needed for it, but when someone manages to pull it off... Oh, man. I bet you'd be blown away. 
I always am, anyway. Do you know what they remind me of sometimes? I know you humans have fireworks. They're like that, but... Well... We're already on fire. We can't burn. So we're much closer to them than you can be at your shows. All the sparkling fire surrounds us close enough to touch. It's... It's really something. I don't understand that reference, but sure. It sounds similar. Too bad I can't show you one. <sighs> hey, but I am pretty impressive though, huh? I'm no light show, but I do have some upsides. These biceps are pretty nice, right? <sighs> Hey, that's not true and you know it. I am a fine specimen of underworldly beauty. <sighs> Thank you. No, you can keep going. I'll, uh, keep the temperature turned down as long as you like. Just don't get used to it, okay? <sighs> Shit. Why am I so tired all the time now? Being on the surface is exhausting. Way more than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, maybe gravity's different up here. Something. It's wearing me out. Hey! No, I'm not weak. I just need time to adapt, adjust, and maybe some more sleep. Uh, okay, okay. Uh. Yeah, that's a signal. I'm kicking you out of the living room. You're sitting on my couch bed, and I kind of needed to sleep. What? I don't have to sleep here? What do you mean? This is the couch. It's here in the living room. I sleep on it. Oh! Are you... inviting me into your bed? So forward, I didn't peg you for the take charge type. But I could be into it. Hmm. <laughs> Is your bed big? Are there bedposts? This will be so much fun. I'm delighted you've asked me to join you. Maybe... Uh, uh, wait. What do you mean not like that? Why would you tell me to come sleep with you if you don't mean... You mean literally sleep? Well, that's boring. <sighs> no, I don't literally eat humans. And yes, the couch is small, but it's been working fine. I fall asleep. Eventually. No need to discomfort yourself for me. You swear. Well then... I'm not one to turn down an upgraded sleeping arrangement. I'd say five days on the couch is more than enough for most people. I won't miss it. Well, of course. I'll be here for a while longer. I'm still holding out for that sweet soul of yours. <laughs> oh, one day you'll give in to me. One way or another. <sighs> okay. Come on now. Lead me to the bed you've promised. 
quickly. Otherwise, I'll just end up back on my couch. Well, yeah, it's my couch now. I spent so much time on it. My claim over it is firm. Huh. Oh. So this is your room. Of course I can tell. You're all over this place. The prints on the wall and the... I don't know what those little figures are in the corner, but they look exactly like something you would have. Though, I'll be honest. I didn't take you for a soft things kind of person. That's a rather large... Uh, well, I don't know what that is, but it looks soft. You know, if you like, you can hold me at night instead of that, uh, thing. I'm sorry, it's a what? What is a Gengar? Are they always so... large? Right. Well, uh, fine. I shall treat him with kindness, then. Please, pardon me, fine Sir Gengar. This is where I am going to be sleeping tonight. Do you mind if I sleep in the nude? Oh, I was asking him, not you. <laughs> That's a joke. All right, fine. I'll keep the bottoms on. Well, yeah, yeah, that means I was nude on the couch. I'm clean, I promise. The couch is fine. You just do what you need. I'm going to get settled in. Yeah. <sighs> You... you sleep in that? All right. No, it doesn't matter. You look fine. Just climb in. Yes, I promise to stay here on my side. Look, I'll even keep Sir Gengar between us. You just stay on your side and we'll be square. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep my hands to myself. Gengar's not really my type. <sighs> Come on. There's nothing we value more than being given permission to fool around. It's why we don't steal souls, we ask for them. If we wanted to steal everything, we could. But that's just... No fun. When you can take everything, it becomes meaningless to just keep taking. I'd rather convince you to give me things. There is an inherent value to things that are given willingly. Happily. That's what I want. Regardless, it'll be fine. Unless you come over here and ask me to touch you. I won't. Always with the sass with you. <sighs> no more questions. Sleep time. I am so going to enjoy this. A real bed. Oh. Excuse me, Sir Gengar. Just let me roll over here. <sighs> hey. You're asleep. Humans. I wish I could sleep that fast. 
I'm always stuck staring at the ceiling, counting goats. Remind me to ask you in the morning what your trick is. You know, I like talking to you. You're easy to talk to. You're kind and smart. If a little spicy sometimes. <laughs> People back home are rather one note. They're all about the next soul, the next bad deed. Even if they manage to think of something else for one minute, it always comes back to the souls. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get back home. Who will I talk to then? Who will sit around and watch reruns with me? Or teach me to cook? Will any of them even want to listen to me? No one cares about the youngest son. Not really. No one except for you. Oh, shit. Do I have feelings? What the fuck? That wasn't part of the plan. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Uh, uh, hey, wait, hey, what? Hey, you, no, no. Uh, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Coming over here. You're, you're supposed to stay over there. Your side of the bed and mine are different sides. Are, are you even listening? Oh, oh, no, you're not. Who knew you were such a heavy sleeper? Jeez. Wait, wait. No, c come on, you're already close enough. You're squishing Sir Gengar. W wait. <sighs> nah, all right, fine. I have no choice but to make room for you. I'll just put my arm here, and if I put your head there. Yeah, that's got to be more comfortable, right? You look more comfortable anyway. And I can hold you, I guess. Keep you warm. It is pretty cold in here. <sighs> you're very cute when you're asleep. Fuck. What am I going to do without you? Are you sure this is going to work? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, if someone notices me and freaks out, it's on you. A convention? No, I don't know what that is. What does that have to do with how I look? And if that's the case, why do I have to wear a shirt? I don't like it. It hides my beauty from the world. If everyone else is in costume, why can't I be shirtless and also... in costume, so to speak? <laughs> of course I'm beautiful! People are beautiful, but me, especially so. How are you dealing with the sudden loss of my beauty? Surely you miss it. <laughs> I should have known better than to expect a serious answer from you. Fine. Force me to hide my body 
shackle me to this modesty. The world weeps when I can't show off my body. <laughs> oh, was that the point? You find me distracting and wanted relief from my blindingly amazing good looks. <laughs> oh, I can hardly blame you. Humans do find me irresistible. Don't feel bad. It happens to you all. Attraction and looking at people is a normal part of life. Though I would hardly call myself people. <laughs> In fact, I myself quite enjoy looking at people. Even humans. It's completely... What? Wait! What? what? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I look at you specifically. Just, uh, humans in general, as, as a whole, as an idea, or whatever. I am aware of how you all look. Pretty unremarkable, if you ask me. Er, uh, no, 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 that, it's not that. I, you look perfect. Perfectly fine. Better than fine, even. Uh, oh, look. I've never spent this much time with a human before. So, maybe, sometimes, I look at you. But it's not like that. It's just because I've been on the surface for weeks now. It's made me hungrier, in every sense of the word. Hungrier for carnal things, for food, for sex, for anything. Mm. Correct. Normally, I don't have this issue. We're free to indulge or abstain as we wish, but there's no drive behind it. Why would I feel the need for sex or companionship or anything when I'm a powerful demon? The world bends to me, not the other way around. Or at least, that's how it is down there. <sighs> Truth be told, up here, it is different. I'm not in control anymore. My powers are almost completely non-existent. I feel actual hunger. I feel... things. Before, all there was was... vindictiveness and anger and control. But now I'm more... human than I was. Or I think it's more human. Since I'm not actually human, it's hard to say with certainty, but I am more surface dweller than I am demon anymore. Oh, my father is... He is pretty pissed. He sent me a missive last night, telling me to come home or lose myself entirely. Threatened to disown me. Ha! <laughs> As if I had anything to lose. I am the youngest son. It's not like I have anything to inherit. I suppose I... Haven't exactly been clear about this, but yes. My father... Is the devil. Yes, that one. Whatever you want to call him, he is my father. I'm the youngest of six sons. I'm too important to be a normal underworld creature, but too lowly in my father's eyes to be worth a damn. In fact, he hardly notices I exist. Except for when I rebel... 
Coming up here has been my best rebellion so far, actually. He is quite angry with me. And I am quite pleased with myself, naturally. He wants me to come back down there, and I plan to keep ignoring him. <laughs> you would likely perish if you tried to deny him so. Me? Well, he can't really harm me. The most he could do would be to inconvenience me, strip me of some of my powers in hell. Up here, though? Mm, he can't touch me. Kill me? No. No, he wouldn't do that. Aww. Are you worried for me? Don't be. Whatever happens, I can handle it. <laughs> Settle down, human. It's fine. Don't tax your little human brain with demon logic. It'll only make you crazy. We don't operate by your same standards, so it's senseless to try and weigh us against your human morals and motivations. Ugh, <sighs> disgusting. How do I feel being here? Well, I feel I like who I am here more than I liked who I was down below. I like having emotions that aren't vindictive. Being required to eat is annoying, but I do find myself appreciating food more than I ever have before. There was so much I didn't know about the world before. <laughs> you will show me what I was missing. Well, that sounds almost dangerously sentimental coming from you. I'm surprised. <clears throat> You're welcome. I like sharing with you. No, I will absolutely never say that again. So commit this moment to memory. What do you mean starting with my dinner? Look, I'm a growing demon. Come now. Don't steal my food. This is too far, even for you. Are all humans this bossy? Oh, fine. Steal away. But don't take too much or I'll keep you up late with my complaints. <laughs> hey, don't forget, we share a bed now. And I could keep you up all night if I wanted to. All right, Chef Ramsay. Reveal to me thine secrets. How the hell am I supposed to do this next part? The other human here is terrible at explaining it. Uh, I know it's not actually him. I only mean... Uh, I, I want to pay close attention to this next part. I am determined to make you the most delicate French omelette you have ever seen. It's the only way this exchange will work. Yes, it, and it has to be very specifically French. The Frenchiest omelette. Obviously, my name is vitally important. As much as a good breakfast is, at least. I've even been practicing while you're at work, too. 
And I always mess up this part. Yeah. You tap the pan to roll it over itself, and I just seem to... Well... I'll say it was a good thing you showed me where the cleaning supplies are. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. There was egg all over your stove. I cleaned it up. It's only right that I rectify that, given it was my fault. Well, hey. I'm a demon, not an asshole. Mostly. I won't make you clean up after me. Feed me, yes. Be my maid. No. Not unless you put on one of those maid outfits. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd say that. But if you change your mind, you know where I live. Now, let me see here. This looks a little better. If I tilt it this way and then shake it a little... Fuck! Duh. Apparently, it breaks entirely apart. Fantastic. Just brilliant. I guess we're making this into a regular omelet. Or scrambled eggs. <sighs> I know it's not the end of the world, but if I'm going to tell you my name, I have to do it exactly as we agreed. Right. A perfect French omelet. I can't settle for any less. No, I'm not joking. Why would I be? A name is a serious thing. Just because you give yours out so willingly doesn't mean I do. Names are a big deal for demons. Not that you'd know this, but knowing my name means... Well, a lot. Demons' names can be used to control them. Telling you my name is giving you power over me. It can't just be given to you. There has to be an exchange. Names are exchanged in payment for something. In this case, I am learning to cook. And you will receive my name in return once I've proven myself. Anything else, and there's some dark magic shit that goes down. That won't be good for you or me. <laughs> well, yes, at the moment Gordon is teaching me, but you gave me those lessons on the first day. You still do it at night after work, too. I live here, and you allow me to use your kitchen. You buy the ingredients, I sleep in your bed, and you buy me clothes. My name is the only thing I have that's an appropriate repayment for all of that. It has nothing to do with your kindness, and I'm not being kind either. This is about power. I can't live my life knowing I owe you such a huge debt. I tell you my name, and we're even. You have been very kind to me, and I like being around you. It's only right that I repay you. Why, why do you, why would it be more than that? No, it's, it's not. Yes, I'd like it if you knew my name. You can't keep calling me Big Red forever. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to do this the right way. It's a big deal for me. A rose by any other name. This isn't about that. This is about my real name. It's important. I thought I just got done explaining this. And why do you say I'm thorny? Is this some kind of joke about my thorns? H er, horns? Horns, I said horns. All right. All right, fine. You know what? Forget the eggs. I'm sure there's some other home I can hang around in. Perhaps the inhabitants there will be more willing to give me their soul. Then, 
I don't even need to worry about eggs. Or Gordon. Or you. Oh, what? Are you backpedaling already? That's not like you. Oh, it'll take more than rolling your eyes and saying I'm dramatic. What did you mean, then? It had better be good. Feel free to use ample complimentary language, too. I so long to hear you compliment me. Huh. Your apology is accepted. I can hardly stay mad at you anyway. For what it's worth, I think you're rather rosy yourself, too. Despite your prickly bits. I'm quite fond of you. No, I will not elaborate on what that means. Do you think so? Well, uh, thank you. I, uh, appreciate it. <clears throat> if you must say kind things, I will reciprocate and tell you that I appreciate your virtues. Strange for a demon, I'm aware, but it's true. You are generous and kind and mostly humble. Yeah, m mostly. But it's all right. I wouldn't be able to stand it if you were a goody two-shoes. Your virtues and your vices both are equally appealing to me. I wouldn't change a single thing about you. So don't change, all right? Or, if you insist on changing, let me change with you. <clears throat> well, then that's the end of that, then. <laughs> we have an accord, and we will not speak of it again. So, uh, you want some eggs? It's no French omelette, but it's something. Hey, wait for me, for the day that I can make you one, okay? It won't take too long. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, hey! You're back! You were on the phone forever. I thought I was going to have to come and rescue you. We'd be good at faking a kidnapping. Oh no, the demon has the pretty human! It would be quite the show. Did you want to, uh, finish this episode, or are you heading to bed? You work tomorrow, right? Is something wrong? Oh, come on. The silent treatment's my angle. Just give me a yes or a no. Hmm. I see. Do you want to talk about it? Whoa. Whoa, hold on. All I did was ask if you wanted to talk. You don't have to if you don't want. Just because I'm a demon doesn't mean I can't understand your feelings. Why would you say that? Of course I can give you... comfort, or whatever it is you want. The only thing I can't give away is my name. But we've already discussed that. <sighs> hey... No, you don't get to avoid the question. Look, 
You don't have to tell me what's wrong. But you do have to tell me why you reacted like that. That's not like you. Sarcasm is usually your style. You don't lash out. Whenever it is that happened on the phone, it happened on the phone. Not here, okay? I'm on your side. It's okay. Were you on the phone with your family? And it... didn't go well? <sighs> that... that sucks. I'm sorry. I can relate. <laughs> of course I can, Angel. My dad is actually Satan. If anyone understands, it's me. You wanna... tell me what happened? Alright, well... What can I do to help you feel better? I don't want this to ruin what was otherwise an excellent night. <laughs> you want to be held? That's what you want? Are you sure? You don't want me to go like rip any of your relatives in two or, you know, feast on the blood of the innocent or whatever else you think that I'd do because I'm a demon. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not opposed. Sure, here, let me turn down the heat on my uh, molten bits. Come here. Sit here with me. And I will hold you. Are you sure you don't need anything else? Okay. Snuggling isn't exactly what demons are known for, but I can see the appeal, especially with you. You know, my dad, when we would fight, it was mostly just me yelling at him. He didn't even care if I was mad. It would make me so angry. All I wanted was to talk to him. I just wanted a conversation and he couldn't even give me the time of day when I was screaming at him. <sighs> so, I grew callous. It was so I could pretend he didn't bother me. Demons are mostly anger anyway, so for me it was either anger or hurt. So I chose anger and sarcasm. Kind of makes me wonder, is that what you've been doing too? All your sass and your quips. Is it to protect yourself from the hurt? <laughs> I told you I got it. I wasn't lying. Just because I'm thick in the head doesn't mean I'm not perceptive. And no, we don't have to talk about it anymore. I just wanted you to know you're not alone. There's nothing new under the sun. And not everyone can relate to everything, but... Sometimes there are people who... Who do really get it. I'll hold you for as long as you need. I mean, 
It's obviously incredibly inconvenient for me. Think of all the practice I could be getting in the kitchen right now. But... <laughs> I suppose it is late. And... Making time for you is... Never really an issue. But you do owe me for this, though. Got it? <laughs> well, yeah, for real. Do you think I want to hold you and snuggle you, you teeny little human? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it at least. One upside to the fire in my veins. It can keep even the coldest humans warm. Oh, I wish you'd stop using me as a space heater at night. No, I don't actually care. I'm joking. I just figured you'd feel a little better if you were griping at me instead of thinking about that phone call. Was I right? <sighs> I knew it. Calm down, relax. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, it's different from the bed. But it's not too bad, I don't think. You just gotta avoid smacking yourself on my horns when we're like this. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't hurt when you do. I just feel bad for you. You're not exactly soft, and I'm pretty horny. What? <clears throat> Way to change the subject. Yeah, I did call you, uh, Angel. Why? Do you object? I did tell you I rather like you. Well, I mean, angels in general, or angels like... Look, it's a cute nickname. At least I thought it was. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, good. <laughs> you know, I could get used to this. Sitting together. You all... Cozied up against me. It's nice. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe we could make it a, uh... Like a weekly thing, sitting on the couch together and snuggling. It's probably good for the heart or something, right? <clears throat> right. You wanna... You wanna move a little closer? Yeah, here, just... Let me just move my arm here. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's real nice, huh? I suppose we couldn't really... Couldn't really get much closer if we tried. <clears throat> uh, hey. Do you, uh, think maybe... Well... <sighs> <clears throat> We've spent a considerable time together, and for a human, you are alarmingly sufferable and enjoyable, even when you're grouchy. I think what I'm trying to get at is that I would like to kiss you, and I'd like to do it now. What, did you not hear me? Let me kiss you, Angel. Good. Again.
Oh, I promise I am warm all over, not just my lips. <laughs> yes, really. Even there. You can take as much time as you need to figure it out for yourself. I have no objections to that. I will say, you're going to have a very hard time keeping my lips off of yours now, though. Once I have had a taste of something I want, well, I've never been opposed to gluttony, Angel. Yo, Angel, wake up. It's time for breakfast. Yeah, it's early, but I have something for you. What? No, I'm not making some type of lewd joke. I. It's actual breakfast. No, I can't just tell you. You have to come and see it. <laughs> Oh, poor dear. I know I tired you out last night, but this is something I worked hard on. You'll like it, I promise. It's just down in the kitchen, so you don't have to go that far. Just follow me. <laughs> oh, you know you're going to have to get used to those late nights. If just one has you this tired, a week from now you're going to be spending the whole day in bed. How are you going to go about your business if you're constantly worn out by your demon lover? <laughs> Obviously, we need to build up your stamina. Or get you into coffee or something. Oh, well. If a whole day in bed is what you want, I suppose I can spend the whole day with you there. We could accomplish a lot in one day. But that day is not today. <laughs> Come on now, to the kitchen. I've got everything set up. Alright, here we go. Time for the big unveiling. Ta-da! Behold, after much studying and hours of practice, I present to you a perfect French omelette. One even Chef Gordon would be proud of, topped with chives and creme fra 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 cream. It's, it's, it's a sour cream, basically, but it's fancy in French. And I'll even make you whatever beverage you want to go with it. Yeah, well, what better time to give it to you? I feel like after last night, it's the least I can do for you. You. <laughs> you were a trooper. No, I will not try and pronounce uh, words from other languages for you. Right now, at least. No, but please focus. Focus on this. Consider this omelet my, uh, admission, confession, whatever. Sit, eat. I promise you'll like it. I think it should be pretty perfect. I've practiced almost every day, and I did have some excellent teachers along the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And? What do you think? Do I pass the test? <laughs> oh, I do love to hear a bit of flattery in the morning. It's good to know your compliments don't end when the sun comes up. Tell me more. Is it fluffy? Creamy? <laughs> oh no, no. I've never been above fishing for compliments. I deserve them. Especially for this. I've gone through a lot to make that plate the best it could be. That cr creme 
<clears throat> the cream was homemade. You have no room to talk anyway, as if you tire of being complimented yourself. I remember how much you preened when I told you you were a very, very good angel last night. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Now, for serious business, since I have made you, in your own words, the perfect breakfast, I must pay you in kind for your lessons in cooking, for housing me, and for providing me with all the ingredients I needed to get here. You have given to me without selfishness and without hesitation. <laughs> As a demon of honor, I can only repay you by giving you my name my true name, so that you may call on me when you need, so that you may always have me as an ally. What? No. No, no, there's no stopping me now. I don't care if Big Red is a good name. This is happening. But I will warn you, if you use my name for ill will, well, just don't, all right? Right. <clears throat> you, my angel, may call me Lucian. Or Luce, if you insist on shortening it. What? 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 No. Lou? Lou was not one of the options I provided. Are you really being difficult now? When I'm telling you literally my biggest secret... Is there no end to your feistiness? This is just... <sighs> well, it's very... You. <laughs> just don't go giving my name away to anyone else, alright? <clears throat> no... Not even if I make you very angry. I'm not planning on pissing you off anytime soon, but it is worth mentioning. <laughs> it is a big deal. I wouldn't tell just anyone my name. Why did I tell you? Because I trust you. Because I, I plan on sticking around. So long as you'll have me, Angel. I don't know that I can really comprehend things like... <clears throat> things like love, given what I am. But you make me feel like maybe I'm capable of more than just vindictive gluttony and greed. I think, perhaps, with you... I can be more. Better? Maybe. I don't know about better or worse. All I do know is that I want to stay here with you. Is that... Well, is that something you'd like? <laughs> mm. Good. I was hoping you'd say that, otherwise I'd have wasted a lot of time making eggs for no good reason. <sighs> I think, um... I think, uh, it's about time that I reached back out to my father. <laughs> no, not some sort of demonic text message. Well, actually it is basically like that. But, no, it's a little more formal, I guess. I'm... <laughs> well, I'm going to abdicate. I'm going to let go of my familial responsibilities. My position, my role. Everything that I used to think made me me. I'll stay here with you, 
and you don't even have to give me your soul. But, if you're keen on giving me your heart, then I wouldn't turn you away. <sighs> no, it's not hard to be soft. It's nice, actually. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, you have my name and my promise. Angel, it's movie time. Are you ready? <laughs> well, of course I'm excited, can't you tell? I've taken a liking to your human entertainment. I've been up here for long enough anyway. It's time I learned a bit of this pop culture stuff you keep referencing. It's been... What? How long have I been up here now? Months? Six? Huh. Wow. Yeah, I think it is time I learned a little more about your world. Plus, you keep referencing things I have no clue about. Honestly. Watching all these movies is just survival at this point. I have to learn, or otherwise I'll never understand what you're talking about. Oh, I've already got the takeout on the coffee table. Can you grab some napkins on your way over? <laughs> yes, I've learned some manners in my time up here, I suppose. <sighs> no, I don't have the movie set up yet. Which one do you want to watch? Pride and Prejudice. Right. You said it's a romance? Nice. Hey, what? what's wrong with liking romances? You like them too. Sure. Die Hard was great, and so was that one with the Spartans, but a lot of those action movies kind of lose their shine when you come from... Down Under. What? what? No, I'm talk talking about hell. I'm not from Australia. I've never... Come on now, you know this. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're, you're being cute. Right, you are rather adept at that, aren't you? What I'm trying to say is, violence and shit, that's normal down there. I've even met a few of the guys in these movies. Like, Xerxes? <laughs> Huge asshole. So is Caesar, if you must know. Nero, too. Actually, a lot of those old Romans are down below. Diogenes is there, too, but he comes to visit us by choice. Heaven is apparently too plain for him. We let him help torture some of the rich assholes who end up down below. Romance, though, that's something specific to the surface. And it's nice to see it. To feel it. <laughs> yes, that's my attempt at being sweet. Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you have other romances you want to show me anyway? We have a great deal of human classics to get through, and according to you, most of them are romances. Oh no, I'm not doubting you. I would never doubt you. But I would, perhaps, imply that you're being slightly self-serving, showing me all your favorites first. <laughs> no, I don't care. It's like getting to know you in a whole new way. It's nice. Now I know all of your favorite movies are romances. I probably could have guessed that on my own, though. I mean, look at you. You're just a big old softy on the inside. And now, I know that all too well. <laughs> No more talk. Snuggle time now. Come on. You know the drill. Oh, well, grab the remote for me, would you? 
Thank you. Oh, my arm. Sure, I'm big. My arms aren't that long, though. <laughs> Come on. All right. So it's on Netflix, right? Mm hmm. All right, I'll queue it up. But maybe we should eat first? Well, I want to give this movie of yours my undivided attention. And you know it doesn't take too long for me to eat, and I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't that why we ordered it in the first place? I have the appetite of a demon in more ways than one. <laughs> we both agreed we're too tired to cook anyway. Sundays are for takeout and movies. And even though this is not a Sunday, it could be somewhere. Is that how time zones work? <laughs> what I'm saying is... We're having a lazy day. At least, you know, that's how our lazy days have gone lately. What, were you hoping to mix it up a little? <laughs> oh. Mm. I can mix it up as much as you like, Angel. Give the word and we'll move movie night to any other day that feels like a Sunday. <laughs> And we can just spend our days in bed. No. <laughs> what else would we do? Re really? Poetry? Uh, you're just being cheeky now, aren't you? Oh, Satan, spare me. Uh, wait. Oh, scratch that. My father's still pretty pissed at me over the abdication thing. Who else can save me from you? Oh, I see. You want me to beg you to save me from... yourself. Now this is something new. Have you always wanted to be in charge? Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm all for a change in routine, but after dinner, I don't want the food to go cold. <laughs> we paid for this, and reheated Chinese is a crime. We've already made that mistake before. What do I have to do, feed you myself? No, no, uh huh, uh huh, I see, I see, I see. You would like that, wouldn't you? Here. You can have one bite. Open up. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do the airplane thing. You're not a child. There. Satisfied now? You better be. That's all you're getting of my food. Eat your own. Hey, look. I need to watch my figure. I'm a growing, uh... Uh... Demon boy man, I need the energy to grow more, bigger, and to make sure you're well satisfied. I can't have you getting tired of me anytime soon, now can I? I have to stay on top of my game, make sure no one steals you away from me. Oh, such sharp words. I thought I was supposed to be the one with the forked tongue. You and I both know we're in it for the long run. There's no way you can find anyone else to replace me and my irresistible charm. <sighs> uh-huh. Is that so? Well then, perhaps I'll have to tie you to the bed and prove my point. You always seem to get a kick out of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can try and deny it, but I know you do. So eat your fill, Angel. And when you're done, we'll see what we can do about all of that sarcasm of yours. The movie can wait another hour or so, don't you think? <laughs> mm.
I understand humanity's obsession with the unknown and the creepy and the supernatural. All of that. Really, I do. Well, of course, your lives are so short and mundane. It's no wonder you seek the fantastical. I'd be bored too if I was just some poor soul trapped in a fragile flesh sheath for a brief moment in time, only to be snuffed out and left to wonder if anything I did with the handful of years granted to me actually mattered. Um. <clears throat> uh. Too... too much? Yeah. Sorry. But also, you have me. So you're already way ahead of the pack in that regard. Come on. But... <clears throat> Anywho, there, there was a point. There was a point I was trying to make. Oh, well, I, I do like the sound of my own voice, but I was saying all of that to say this. This Halloween thing would be much more agreeable if it wasn't also an excuse for little humans to come knocking on your door expecting candy. My candy. I've grown quite fond of these sugary treats, and I'm not keen on sharing. Nor am I keen on snot-nosed, loud, demanding little shits asking where I got my costume. This is not a costume. I am a person. A, 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 I am an individual. <laughs> where did you get your costume, little child? Spirit Halloween? Wow, I'm so shocked. I've been there. I've seen all the costumes. You are not unique or cool. <sighs> oh, hello, parent of said child. With your dead eyes and utter lack of regard for the fact that your small ghoul is trying to barge into my house. <sighs> Yes, I have hidden all the good candy for me to eat later. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, because personal space is a concept you have not properly taught your little creature. No, no, it is nothing like the Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts bring me things. They do not expect anything from me except your money. And in exchange... I get cookies. That's very different. <sighs> well, no, it's not all bad. Watching thematically appropriate movies has taught me a great deal about culture and life here on the surface. Slashers have truly granted me insight beyond my wildest dreams, as a matter of fact. I knew humans were foolish. Present company excluded, of course. But why do these idiot kids always think it's a good idea to split up? That is how you die. Alone, usually. Unless you're the horny couple that grants a double kill to the antagonist. Ugh. Will they ever learn? No. No, they will not ever learn because they are dead and will not be featured in the sequel. Well, it is entertaining, that much is true. The amount of popcorn I've consumed in accordance with our movie night rituals is... not insignificant. But tonight is not for movies. Tonight is for scaring the hell out of people. And to make sure that I do a... adequate job... Let's go over my checklist before the sun goes down. I want to get this right so I can ensure that our neighbors are sufficiently scared shitless when they dare to approach our home. If I do a good enough job, they may just run away and not take my candy. So you better believe I am dedicated to my task. So, I will don this cloak and take my place amidst the trees, where, ideally, I'll be between the styrofoam gravestone and allegedly sexy skeleton. 
Yes, allegedly. Just because you put a hat and tie on him doesn't make him sexy. He's bones. Mostly bones. His glowing aura and motion-activated sound effects do not make him sexy. It makes him an overpriced lawn ornament. But I will use Bartholomew as a distraction as I creep around the other side of the tree and growl and ignite my molten bits, eliciting the screams of mortals. <laughs> as one does. <clears throat> and you... You will be... sitting by the front door. That seems like minimal effort compared to being a menace to children and unexpecting passerbys. But... I suppose it is the least I could do. Given that I have no legal tender with which to pay rent. Offering my services in exchange for your patience and bed is fair, I suppose. And I do like you, so... <laughs> I will dedicate myself to this task, but when I am through, I will be expecting my own evening of thrills and chills and things that go bump in the night. Oh, you're free to interpret that however you'd like. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> now, I will go attend to my duty. And when I return, I will attend to you. No, no, I'm... I'm fine. I was just... stretching. <sighs> I'm exhausted from terrorizing the little humans is all. Well, yes, I realize that was days ago. But I'm... <clears throat> okay, okay, fine. The truth is there in that bag. Or rather, the wrappers and remains of our leftover candy. No, I didn't eat it all. I left a little of those... those little things you like. But most... I guess... I guess you could say I ate most of the candy. I know we had a lot of leftovers. But, I might have also snuck out with your wallet and inspected the local store for those sales you were talking about. They just thought I had a great costume, but were confused as to why I was still wearing it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I understand that you're not entirely thrilled that I borrowed your money to acquire sugary delights. I know, I really, really understand, truly. But you must know by now, I have a very thick head. And I am also kind of dumb, admittedly. <laughs> no, those are not the same thing. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Oh, okay, no more laughing. Oh, no more laughing. I'm just saying I needed to learn the hard way, and now I've learned. What's the matter? Well, I've learned what exactly a sugar coma is, but worse yet, it's like... The lining of my innards are melting away from rotting sugar and enough carbs to last me the winter. What I'm saying is, I'm dying, Angel. I don't know if I can recover from this. 
the sheer chaos that is bubbling and boiling within my bowels may be the end of me, the end of us, the end of your master bathroom. No, absolutely not. I refuse to use the half bath. It's far too cramped. It's a broom closet with a shitter in it. The fan doesn't work. You expect me to be trapped in there with the demon spawn I'll unleash in due time? No. No, absolutely not. I need to be able to stretch out and breathe. So, you have been put on notice. Ow! Oh, ow! Hey. Hey. If you hit me in the stomach again, I might actually explode. If things go nuclear here in the living room, you'd regret it. You'll be scraping up pieces of me off the walls for days. And you'll miss me. Right? You'll, you'll miss me. Say it. Say you would miss me. I can't hear you. Huh. <sighs> the list of things you'll miss and the things you won't miss are pretty even. Well, fair enough. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Angel, what can I do to quell the storm brewing within me? You, you have something? <laughs> Medication? Ugh, human medicine cannot conceive the war being waged in my guts at this very moment. It's hopeless. Hopeless, I tell you. Okay, well, hurry back. Oh, this is... This is not great. What have you brought me? Some sort of... Some sort of bottle of pink liquid. What's that going to do? Help me. As if. And you want me to just drink one thimble of it? That's hardly anything. Give me the bottle. Ah. <sighs> uh. No, not the burp. The medicine. That's very... thick and gross. But... perhaps if it coats my insides with a defensive shell of protection and smooths out the process, so to speak, it could be of use to me. But what would really really be of use to me is a belly rub. No, I am not a dog. I am a big, angry demon with a tummy ache, and I am humbly requesting you rub me to help soothe the darkness within me. Oh, I... I'm sure I've rubbed you in such a way that soothed the darkness in you as well. It's only... It's only right. Don't you think? Come on. You know you want to rub me. Like my stomach, at least. P please Please? Wait! Oh, wait, wait! C Where are you going? Uh, Baby me! I'm sick. I, I know it's my fault, but I still feel bad. Oh. You were never one to be merciful, I suppose. Oh, fine, I'll just be here. But I'm going to keep groaning until, until I annoy you. 
and then you'll rub me. You'll, you'll comfort me in my time of need, won't you? You'll think about it. Uh, fine. Fine. I'll just bide my time. Hey, you're back. Guess it's that time of the year again, huh? You got a bit of snow on your shoulder, Angel. <laughs> Guess I should be calling you Snow Angel if you're going to have it on you. Yeah, it feels like each year Jack Frost gets more eager to knock on everyone's doors and pelt them with snowballs. <sighs> However he works in your human culture. But enough about him. You're still shivering. So why don't you take off that jacket and come over here? Unlike the frightful weather outside, I am rather warm and delightful, wouldn't you say? Yes, that did happen to be a reference to one of those damned holiday carols that they play. Soon as Halloween passed, people were just tossing up the next big thing. And damn, if those songs aren't addictive. Don't blame me if you hear me, which hopefully you never will. Now then, come here, Angel, on my lap, and I will grace you with my warm embrace. Oh, <laughs> you didn't even put up a fuss. You must really be cold. There. Comfortable? Need anything else to save you from Mother Nature's cold shoulder? Blankets? Hot chocolate with a load of whipped cream? <laughs> oh, I know I could go for that. Uh, Alright, that's a fair point. We probably should have prepared all of that before you got cozy. Yeah, there's always later. But I do mean what I said about Mother N's cold shoulder. It's scary to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> Mother Nature as a... As a concept or as a thing? Like a, per pers a personification? Uh, well, yeah, sure, I know her. Despite what humans might think, she doesn't really look after Earth. Sometimes she pops into the other realms for meetings and such. And ooh, she's a beauty. But don't ever get on her bad side. Well, why? Well, for one, you've seen the storms and shit she can do up here, right? But imagine in some place like hell, where she doesn't have to worry about other, well, living creatures, sort of. I'll put it this way. She doesn't necessarily have to feel guilty about not playing nice. <laughs> What's that one saying humans have about when hell freezes over? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's done that. A lot, actually. You'd think it's impossible, but when that woman is pissed, she is pissed. <laughs> What pushed her to that point? A mix of bad meetings with my father and having to go to a fiery plane. You'd be pissed off too if you had to deal with him for 30 minutes. But hey, it was hilarious to see my father's reaction. And hurling snowballs down in hell is more fun than you might think. Got my siblings a few times and it was very much worth it, though they didn't really find it as amusing as I did. Actually... Wait, if she gets mad and causes a blizzard up here, does that mean you'd be stuck at home not having to work? Well, hell, that sounds like a win to me. You get to be here all day and we don't have to do anything. <laughs> hey, come on, I'm kidding. Sort of. Okay, okay. I know it's important and icy roads can be considered their own circle of hell. And Zoom meetings and working remotely is a thing, but 
<laughs> if you didn't have to go anywhere, it'd be worth it. Going out in the snow? Here? Well, I mean... I wouldn't be against it, but I'd have to watch my molten bits if I'm going to be wearing snow gear. The last thing I want is to spend a bunch of money on that stuff only for it to burn off. But, if you make snow angels, I'm going to have to call you that for the rest of the winter. Hell, maybe it'll replace Angel in its entirety. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine all the chaos when we do go out there. Sledding down giant slopes and getting into snowball fights with the other humans and proving our superiority. And then after we get back, warming ourselves up however we can. I, mean, I do hear skin contact is the best way to share body heat. <laughs> and I am naturally fairly warm, so it probably wouldn't take that much time. Ah, uh, honestly, spending the winter with you, it sounds comfortable. Back in hell, I would just prank my siblings and stay warm with my infernal fire until the frost melted away. Here, though, we have blankets. We'd be warming up together and drinking hot chocolate with every topping imaginable. Ah. Uh. Going out in the snow when not a soul is around. Shit. It sounds cliche and pretty cheesy, but I think that's something I would enjoy. If you're willing to make those memories with me, Snow Angel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. So, huh. <sighs> Let's start it off right. Here, sit on the couch. I'm going to make the hot cocoa. But, but don't worry, I'll, I'll get some for you too. Just <laughs> don't be surprised if I take a little sip of yours. Hey, hey, what? I, I thought you were cold. No, no, I get dibs on the big mug. That one's mine. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I'll get to work. No. I said, I said no. I'm not going back. That's right, that's right, I'm staying right here, staying here, Gengar, handle my light work, oh, Did I char the sheets? Oh, almost. Oh, close call. Uh, sorry, I, I can't really... Can't really control how hot my molten bits get when I'm sleeping. Oh. A dream. No. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't a great one. Getting all worked up can really fire me up. Literally. Sorry. Oh, well, we just replaced the last set, so I'm hoping these sheets will last a while. Oh. 
No, no. You don't need to worry about me, Angel. I've just had a lot on my mind. Hmm. No, nothing much. It's just stressful hell things. Family things. You know the drill. Mm. <laughs> hey, I might be half asleep, but I promise you, I don't regret anything. Us, me staying, any of that. These have been the best choices I've made in ages. Oh, I don't revel in having all these bad dreams either. I need rest. If I spend most of my waking hours around you, I need to be as rested as I can be. <laughs> oh, because you keep me on my toes. Little troublemaker. Uh, anything you can do to help. Bold of you to assume that I won't milk this opportunity to get things out of you. <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to make you go make me a sandwich in the middle of the night. I could do that myself. But if you're offering to do something for me, uh, I could go for a back rub to uh, ease my tension. You know I love it when you scratch my back. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. Let me just... <clears throat> Roll over for you there. Oh. <laughs> You're too good to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just a little higher. Oh. <laughs> oh. Angel, that feels, that feels good. Oh, oh don't worry, my head is, my head is very empty. Sure, emptier than usual. I can just go back to sleep if you're going to pick on me. <laughs> no, if I fell asleep, you wouldn't necessarily have to stop. Oh, then I might have a really good dream. <laughs> oh. Oh. off if your goal is to put me back to sleep oh. well, all I'm saying is if uh, if I start tossing and turning or I seem restless in one form or fashion you're welcome to do whatever it takes to make me relax Yes, even if I'm asleep. 
Well, yes, I do believe that is what they call enthusiastic consent. Mm. But <clears throat> you can you can just keep rubbing my back for now. <sighs> Love you too, Angel. That's the spot. Oh. Ah. So, February, huh? I always thought it was weird that there were fewer days in this month. Like, imagine, the 14th is the halfway point. Super weird. Huh? Oh, I could. I could talk about the weather, too, but the weather has nothing to do with the fact that there's a holiday specifically about romance and candy coming up, and you haven't mentioned it to me even once. Yeah, that. It's not... <laughs> It's not like it's a big deal or anything. Uh, it was just odd, I guess. I wasn't really sure how to ask, but you've been pretty thorough about showing me the ins and outs of adapting to life up here. Holidays aplenty. But not a peep about this one. Uh-huh. You're doing the whole... Play it cool and it'll be fine thing, which is okay by me, I just... Uh, well, honestly, I, I was wondering if it had anything to do with me. Well, well, what I mean is maybe... Maybe because I'm not exactly the going out in public on a fancy date type. Or... <laughs> Perhaps you feel bad, like I couldn't give you the kind of Valentine's Day experience you wanted or something, which I would understand. Uh, I just, I don't like having to guess and wonder. Not when it comes to you. One of the things I love most about being here with you is that you'll tell me like it is. You won't beat around the bush or try to make me come to a conclusion you want me to reach. You'll just lay it out there, and we're open about shit. I know, I can be dense. I'm still not used to... Well, all of this. And you've helped me. You've helped me a lot. So... What is it? Why the secrecy about this Valentine's Day? Oh, are, are you not fond of all of that? You don't have to explain, I can see it written all over your face. Regardless of whatever happened, I already thought it must be weird for some folks who have to go on with a whole holiday up here about love and being with someone. Not everyone is lucky enough to have someone like you in their lives. Having a big old spotlight shining on being alone could really, really fucking suck. Not to mention people who do have someone and well, maybe things don't quite go to plan. What I've learned from watching during my time on the surface is that sometimes people are scared to say what they're really thinking or feeling. And, and... You know I could take or leave all of the mushy stuff, but what I don't want is for you to ever feel like you can't talk to me about something. You've shown me kindness unlike anything I've ever known. And the only thing I want to do is repay that to you. Because you're worth it. You're worth all of it. <laughs> and so much more, Angel. <laughs> 
Where is all this coming from? The heart, I think. Uh, I just want to be good to you. You've put up with my shit, been mostly patient with me, and you've loved me. I'm thankful. If you want it to just be another day, then we don't have to think twice about some silly holiday. If you want it to be romantic and mushy, then I can do that too. Either way, I already know you care about me, and no amount of themed candy, cards, or gifts would make me any more aware of it than I already am. I know. But if it would make you smile, then I would do that for you. On any day. <laughs> well, I had thought about getting my hands on dozens of candles and turning this place into a real fire hazard, but imagine all the wax. Cleaning up wax isn't really what I consider romantic. Unless it's off of you. But that's not what these candles would have been for. So I thought maybe I'd try to bake a cake, cook a new dish. When we're through, maybe we could sneak out into the night and you could show me around. We haven't done much exploring, but you share all these memories and stories with me. I'd like to see some of it for myself, even if it's the middle of the night and it may or may not be trespassing. <sighs> yes, I'm sure. I'm... <laughs> I'm very sure. I think I'd enjoy that quite a bit. So long as you're with me, Valentine. <sighs> oh, I see. Oh, no, no, no. I know that look. I know you. And see, you don't have much of a poker face. That or you don't really want to hide it. Oh, what is it? The fact that you want me to kiss you. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, Angel. Why are you hugging me so tight? <laughs> hey, look at me. You don't ever have to thank me. You deserve this. You deserve nothing but good things. Even if the world convinced you otherwise. Even if you convinced yourself otherwise. I love you. Because I don't deserve good things. And yet, the best thing that ever happened to me is right here in my arms. Okay? Okay. I love you. Angel. Always. Ready, Angel? I've got the popped corn here. Did you, uh, grab the other snacks and drinks? Good! Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's start with your pick first. The Notebook, right? Not sure why you picked a movie about a writer, but, uh, I'll give it a shot. What? What? It's called The Notebook. What else could it be about? Unless it's like... <laughs> what, are they taking notes in a class? That's even worse. Yes, I understand it's a romance. You do like those kind of movies. 
or rather you enjoy watching me try to wrap my head around things. <clears throat> Go on, explain. Okay, so it's not about a writer. Well, sounds like they should just think of a better name then. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right, all right, enough teasing me. Get comfortable. Well, I did endeavor to make the most epic pillow fort I possibly could with what we have on hand. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Let me just uh, wrap my arm around your shoulders and adjust the popped corn. <sighs> there. Ready to go. <sighs> what in the nine circles? What what happened to the power? Well, it's okay. Hold hold on, Angel. I can light up my molten bits to give you a little light. There we go. I had forgotten that humans don't really see in the dark that well. <laughs> um no, don't thank me. Well, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, don't touch. You might burn yourself. I had to increase my body temperature to get it to, to glow. You have much to learn. I'm one to talk. I follow you? Oh, I see. You need me. Well, how else will you find candles without me lighting the way for you, little human? <laughs> what would you do without me? Don't worry, my precious little angel. I'm here to help you. My body burns only for you. And occasionally chanting Tatum. I'm sorry, Magic Mike was unironically very good. I can't help that. All right, candles, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Is that it? You found a lantern too. What is this, the medieval times? Trust me, they weren't that great. You know, for humans at least. For demons, it's a party. But for you guys, <laughs> uh, yikes. Oh. <laughs> Batteries. I knew that. It was a joke. I'm joking. I'm a jokester. You know that. Here, give me some of the candles. I'll help set them around the living room. No, I'm not going to melt them. Hell, I'm surprised they're not running on batteries either. <laughs> I can light them easily. No matches needed. Or lighters. Whatever technology that you have lurking around every corner. Hey, give, give, give. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Careful where you're putting those. If you put them in a circle, let's just say you're all mine. Let's not accidentally summon another demon who might try to take you from me. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. they could try, but no being in any realm would be able to take my angel from me. <laughs> oh, you like that, don't you? Me talking about absolutely shit-kicking some demon around your house, fighting for you. <laughs> mm. Or is that just the candlelight making it look like you're uh, cheesing over there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> there. Is 
There are enough light for you now with the lantern and candles. Good. I will lower my temperature back to a touchable level. Believe it or not, I've never actually seen the electricity fail like this. A blackout? Well, hmm. I suppose that's a fitting name, but it has terrible timing. I was looking forward to our movie night. Yes, I do happen to enjoy our movie nights. I told you I enjoy your... human entertainment. I found things have become a bit more cynical lately, and that is, well... Let's just say that tickles me. <laughs> uh, speaking of entertainment, what does one do in a blackout? Hmm. Take my... Did you just call my pillow fort crappy? Take it to the next level for a living room camp out. Huh. Well, that seems like it could be a good time. We just need to, what, use the furniture? More furniture. Move it around, okay? Well, lucky for you, I am a semi-professional at moving furniture. Uh, well, no one, no, no one's ever paid me. Y you don't... Oh, you like to pick at my last nerve. And I love you for it. But really, move so I can move things. <clears throat> okay, so... It's sort of like an encampment. Like an entire, not just a fort, but a... Y yes, camp. I, I guess we've already said that, haven't we? All right. Um, here, let me move this. <clears throat> All right. Done. Now what? Gather all the blankets. All of them. Okay, well, good thing I turned down my temperature. It's going to get very hot, you realize that. Yep, with no air conditioning, no electricity, and me being a demon from hell. Yeah, yeah, blankets, okay. I'll grab blankets, you gather the couch cushions, and you form them to your liking. Hmm. All right. This is nice. This is comfortable, cozy. Uh, but uh, aside from creating a mess that I will inevitably have to clean for you, um, what do we do without power? Hell? Well, before coming to the surface, uh, my siblings and I would usually just go mess around with some souls if we got bored. Come up here to the surface to try to make deals with humans in exchange for their souls. You know, the usual. I... What did you do? Well, not, I... <laughs> Not in hell. Uh, you've never been, to my knowledge, though. You would probably fit in quite well. Um, what do you do in, in blackouts? I assume this isn't your first. Do you always do a living room camp out thing? A game. Oh, like word games. 20 questions. What's that? Mm-hmm. 
K. All right, let me make sure I understand. You pick a person, place, or thing, and I have to ask 20 questions in order to figure out what you're thinking about. Okay. Yes or no questions. All right, all right. I got it. I got it. That's That should be easy enough. Your mind is not so complex that I cannot solve whatever riddle you have for me. Let's play. Have you thought of something? Okay. <clears throat> is it a living thing? It is. Okay. Is it male, female, otherwise? Oh, y yes or no questions. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, is it, is it male? Aha! So it is. Am I familiar with this man? I am. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Is it Sir Gengar? Oh, how dare you? He is very much alive. I grow tired of this game. Pick another. No, I'm not nervous. Why would you... Oh. That's... That's the name of the game? What a terrible name. How... How does one play this... This nervous game? Uh, all right, so you, t you touch me and ask if I am nervous. Another simple game. <laughs> Very well. You may begin. <laughs> nervous? Your hand is merely on my chest. Of course I'm not nervous. <laughs> Uh, sliding it down a couple of inches changes nothing. I'm still calm and apparently winning. Mm. Are you, are you just going to continue sliding it down? No, no, that does not mean I am nervous. I was just asking a question. Simply asking a question. Hmm. Uh, uh, um, uh, why would you ask that? Your hand on my lower abdomen. <laughs> Why would that make me nervous? If anything, it's making me... What? What? I lost. How? I'm, I have not been nervous this entire time. My heart... What about it? Be beating fast, that's... I... So I lose even if I wasn't nervous because I was... simply expressing a reaction to your touch? I... Oh... Oh, no, 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 Angel. I'll accept that loss, but you... Hmm. <sighs> you... should prepare to accept yours.
There's my angel. Finally you're home. <laughs> Come here, into my arms. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that goober person drove you home slow on purpose. He wanted to prolong my torment, no doubt. Yes, yes, goober, uber, same thing. Now, give me another kiss. <laughs> of course I missed you. It's been ages since you were here in my arms. Yes, two weeks is in fact classified as ages in hell, and is far too long for you to be away from me. Now, come on, I'll grab your stuff. Head to the dining room, I'm sure you're hungry. Of course the house is clean, I wasn't going to let you come home to a pigsty. Yes, the entire house is clean. I hate waiting and needed to keep busy, so I cleaned. And did our laundry. Oh, and I made you a romantic dinner. Candles and everything, see? <laughs> you are very, very welcome, Angel. It's all of your favorites. I had a lot of time to practice making them. Go on, sit. I'll just set these here in the coat closet. You can unpack later. <laughs> so, how was it? The work trip. Hmm, that's good. So, the mandatory training seminar is over. You've gained all the knowledge they wanted to give you. Well, I still don't know why they couldn't have just made a YouTube video, but I'm glad you learned the new skills to aid with your job. Well, yes, I think YouTube is very knowledgeable. You can learn a lot from a simple video. There's a video on just about how to do anything on YouTube. Like those videos I watched of Chef to learn how to make your French omelette. Very, very helpful. Well, yes, your guidance helped a lot as well. <sighs> All right, fine. Y you're right, I guess hands-on lessons are pretty helpful. <laughs> anyway, how was your return flight? I know you're not, uh, exactly a fan. Oh, turbulence. You would think that if humans figured out how to make a large chunk of metal fly, they could have fixed that issue by now. You know, make it a little smoother of a ride. It's basically a large public bus that flies. And is significantly more expensive. <clears throat> Me? What did I do when you were gone? Well... You know what I did. You even bought me a cellular phone so we could communicate while you were away. Well, I did too tell you about my day when we talked at night. I told you I watched movies and cooked food. Well, no, that's not all I did. I also played some games and rummaged through your things a little. Don't worry, I didn't find anything embarrassing. Although, I did look through all of your school picture books. It was fun tracking down your picture in each of them. <laughs> oh. Come now, don't be embarrassed. In fact, you were adorable. <laughs> well, other than that, I did try cooking some new dishes. 
Well, like what? Uh, like, uh, there was the other night I tried to make a chicken cordon bleu. Bleh, bleh. But French has always eluded me. But, but it did not turn out well. The, the chicken became dry, and I overcooked the ham. I ended up using the credit card you left me to get a pizza. Well, yes, the delivery boy did see me. I had to answer the door and give him a tip. Don't worry, he only seemed mildly terrified, and I tipped well. He'll be fine. Probably. And besides, no one would believe him if he told them he delivered pizza to a demon anyway. Mm-hmm. I know I'm right. Anyway... That was the sum of my time without you. It was very long and boring. The highlight of my days was calling you, but even then that didn't seem to be enough. I'm very happy that you're home now, Angel. Hmm, and you are most certainly welcome. I'm glad you've enjoyed your dinner. Are you finished? Not too full, are you? Huh. Good. Because it's time to move on to dessert. Mm. <laughs> yes, Angel. Dessert. I have not had you in two long weeks. And it has taken every ounce of my strength not to take you as soon as you walk through that door. So, now that you've been fed and these mindless human pleasantries are out of the way, you have until the count of ten to go upstairs, remove your clothes, and wait for me on the bed. Understand. Good. Oh, and Angel, make sure you grab some rope. You're going to need it. <clears throat> oh, oh, Angel. <laughs> oh, good. You're finally home. Oh, you're, uh, you're a lot later than you said you'd be. I hope that just means you were having fun with your friends out there. Uh, yeah, I, uh, May have fallen asleep on the couch. I was just trying to wait up for you, I swear. I was watching TV, and I can still feel my brain rotting from watching this mess. Some channel. It, it used to be called the Learning Channel. <laughs> can you believe? Now what's anyone learning? Nothing. They're learning nothing. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're drunk, aren't you? Yes, you totally are. Believe me, I know how to tell when someone's drunk. Especially when they're trying to hide it. Oh, no, I'm mad. Of course I'm not mad at you. Unless you were stupid enough to drive yourself home. You did have someone bring you home, right? Okay, good. Well, now that you're back, we should probably get to bed. Uh, Angel, it's nearly three in the morning. You need your sleep. Uh, well... If you're not going to bed yet, can I at least bring you some water? I think the last thing you'd want is to wake up with a hangover. 
And from what I can tell, you've set yourself up for a bad one. All right. You stay here and I'll be right back with your drink. Uh, I, I think you said this stuff was good for preventing hangovers? G uh, Gator Aid. What does that even mean? Surely this couldn't have been made for alligators. Well, hope you like lemon lime. That's the only flavor left. What do you mean? What do you... That's not what it's called? It's yellow flavor? Uh... I can read the label. You know, you're too drunk to argue with right now. Here, enjoy your yellow Gatorade. <laughs> you humans have a strange way of dealing with your drunkenness. Me? Well, not really. Us demons have a fairly high tolerance for that sort of thing. Especially when most of what we drank down there was wine. Oh yeah, we drank that stuff like water down there. What kind? Well, I, we all have our own preferences. Um, I figure most demons like that really rich red wine that'll stain your clothes real bad but I tend to prefer the sweeter stuff. <clears throat> yes, actually, Moscato is my favorite. <laughs> Embarrassing. I mean, it used to be. It was another thing for my family to tease me about, but at the end of the day, I'd like to actually enjoy the things that I'm drinking. How are you doing on your... Gator aid. Finished it already. Wow, you must have been really thirsty. Though I could say that about you most of the time. And especially tonight. Oh. Come on. There's no way I couldn't notice the way you're getting all close to me. You're not exactly being subtle, Angel. And as much as I'd love to ravage you, we're not doing that tonight. Not when you're this drunk. I may be a demon, but please. I'm a decent guy. <laughs> of course. Cuddles are fine. You missed your space heater, huh? Come on. Lie on top of me. <clears throat> yes, you may put your head on my chest. <laughs> You're probably still going to have a headache in the morning, so we might as well make sure you sleep well and wake up to a pleasant sight. Yes, I mean me. <laughs> Am I not pleasant in the mornings? Play your cards right when you're sober and awake. Maybe you'll see how pleasant I really am. <laughs> I hope you still like me enough that you'd be happy to wake up on top of me. You haven't come to your senses while you were drinking, have you? Realize that I'm a mess. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I know I can't join you on trips out like that, but if I can be the thing that makes you happy to come home, then that is perfectly fine with me. Hmm. You are very needy when you're drunk, you know that. <laughs> I mean, look at you clinging to me like you never want to let go. Oh... You don't. You were looking forward to coming home to me. <laughs> you know, Angel, you could have warned me that you're the sappy kind of drunk. 
<laughs> okay, okay, I'm listening. Of course I love you, Angel. Y you are probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, thank you for making sure I know. And I'm glad the same can be said for you. Believe me, there's no way I could forget it. The way you've taken me into your home, into your life. I can never say thank you enough. I can only strive to show you my gratitude. And those eyes of yours are getting heavy, aren't they? I can tell. No, go right ahead. I actually like it when you doze off on me. It's nice to know you feel so safe with me. <laughs> you know, you're probably not going to remember any of this in the morning. But that's all right. I will. Good night, Angel. Rest easy, my love. Oh. Uh. oh, come on, it's tradition, right? Popping open a bottle of champagne. That's, that's what you humans do, right? Oh, and... <laughs> oh. The way the fizzy foam spills out of the bottle is a bit erotic. Don't you think? I am not a child. I am observant. I am a learned demon who knows what phallic objects leaking white fluid evokes in the imagination. Isn't that right, Sir Gengar? <laughs> yeah, he gets it. He does get it. Look at him. Doesn't exactly scream innocent young man, does he? And with a tongue like that, why should he? <laughs> well, my tongue is big, but not that big. Oh. Or you wouldn't change a thing about me. Are you being romantic? <laughs> you are such a charmer. <laughs> of course I'm being serious. Do I look unserious? Oh. You are being difficult. On Christmas, I was walking around wearing... Well... Not much. And you told me that that was inappropriate. Now I'm dressed for the occasion, and you're telling me I look silly. You can't have it both ways. And it was quite difficult finding people clothes that would fit me. Oh, I make money. Well, not much, but I have my ways. I can't just mooch off of you forever. And I've raided the couch for coins too many times. There's nothing left in there other than questionable lint and crumbs. <laughs> like I said, I have my ways. And no, it's not an OnlyFans. Though I have considered posting pictures of my feet online for money. I mean, not because I feel it would be lucrative, but because I find it conceptually hilarious. <laughs> Grippers. What should they grip? What would these doggies clutch in their strong toes? <laughs> oh. The look on your face only encourages me, you know. 
If I didn't know any better, I'd say you loved my ridiculousness. How else could you explain putting up with me for this long? It's almost a new year. I figured you'd have kicked me to the curb by now, but you are a glutton for punishment. And my cooking, I guess. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, I'm not so bad. Wow, you really are being romantic. I am utterly smitten. You keep it up and this New Year's ball thing isn't going to be the only thing dropping. What? What? No, what? I... I mean my pants. My balls dropped centuries ago, you menace. A fact that you know all too well. <laughs> you can play dumb, but I've roasted these chestnuts over your open fire a time or two at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. M maybe I should stop with the analogies. That one was... That one wasn't great. You think I look good with these clothes on, hmm? Well, I appreciate that. I realize the joys of wrapping gifts, you see. It helps build excitement, anticipation, and curiosity about what's lurking underneath. But trust me, if you unwrap me this evening, I'm keeping the glasses on. No. Oh. No, you're gross. <laughs> Wait. What do you mean it wouldn't matter if you were bending me over? Glasses buried in a pillow. Wait. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to walk away all sassy, swaying that cute ass of yours all smug and satisfied. That's real bold of you to assume I'd let a puny human clap my glorious cheeks. I, oh, well, I mean, you're not that puny. And you're not just any human. <clears throat> What I'm saying is, I never thought you were all that interested in <laughs> um, mounting me. Well, I, I mean, you've mounted me, uh, like, I, I mean, in the, uh, bend me over type of way. Uh, flustered? Who? Not me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> A bit surprised, maybe. Caught off guard, sure, but flustered. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Would I like it? Oh, Angel. I don't think there's been a single thing you've thrown my way that I didn't find utterly delightful. <gasps> You talk a big game. I think I'd be interested in seeing if you could, uh, back it up. Your bark is sweet, but what about your bite? Uh-huh. See, you're not the only one who can pull the rug out from under someone. <laughs> oh. Is that... How you'd like to ring in the new year? I'm not exactly a bell, but I could make pretty sounds for you, my love. That is, if you earn it. <laughs> oh, I have a few ideas. We could, uh, set aside the champagne and 
Maybe, uh, leave Sir Gengar down here while we retreat to your room. And if you impress me... <laughs> maybe I'd give you the opportunity to... Well, what was it I said? Clap my glorious cheeks. Oh. A challenge it is, then. Well then, Angel. Let's see what you've got. 